Welcome everyone, I'm Ify and today I'm going to give you an update on where I stand about fragrance clones or dupes. First of all, today I'm wearing Hugo Boss Selection, which is a nice, cheap, office friendly fragrance, which I'm going to review later, that's why I'm wearing it. So now I felt like I needed to make this video because I know most of you have subscribed to the channel because of my videos about fragrance clones and alternatives. Those who have been with me since the beginning and until now know that at some point I gave up on fragrance, on reviewing fragrance clones because there were too many of the same smell coming from the same brand. For example, Armoff. So it was simply not worth it for me to buy the same fragrance over and over again in a different bottle and make videos to tell you guys that simply this is another Bleu de Chanel clone or another one million clone but just looks different in a different bottle and it wasn't just our moth most of these Middle Eastern companies are releasing fragrances that smell the same but in different bottles they even have sub brands now with a different name but with the same fragrances in different bottles I guess they are relying on one-time purchases. They keep getting more and more fragrances out. So people will see, hey, that's a new fragrance. They're gonna buy it. They're gonna realize it smells the same as the previous one. So they're gonna wait for the next one. Gonna try next one. Gonna smell the same until they eventually gonna give up like I did. Also, when I started with the fragrance clones, it was fun. It was something new. I know there were still some clones very cheap ones, but not so great. They were on the market for a while, even before Armoff started making clones. But then Armoff came with this great quality and performance and changed the fragrance clone game. And obviously a lot of people with money and power realized that, hey, this is a good way of making money. So all of these are the brands that are making perfumes inspired by popular and successful perfumes there are lots lots of these brands right now it's overwhelming hard to cover like all of them but even designer and niche brands are releasing clones these days because it's easier to get inspired by a successful fragrance and maybe just change it a bit and release a new fragrance just to keep up with a request people these days want more and fast they don't have the patience to wait for something that's made of a good quality. And it's not happening just in perfumery, it's happening in any other industry. As you have noticed, many of the things that are made today are of a lower quality than the things that were made in the past. So getting back to fragrances, you don't have to do much. Just smell some of the new releases from a couple of designer brands and you'll notice that they all smell the same. Considering that so many respected brands are starting to make clones these days, I'm starting to get back to reviewing clones. Because even if I start continuing to review designer fragrances, the new ones, I'm gonna say, this is the new release from Paco Rabanne. It smells the same. This is the new release from Carolina Herrera. It smells the same. So it's going to be more or less the same like it was when reviewing her moth fragrances. Only that her moth fragrances were a lot cheaper. That and the fact that I already found my perfect scent, so I'm no longer looking for the perfect fragrance. For me, the journey of looking for a fragrance and buying fragrances just to find that one great fragrance has ended. So now I can only focus on giving you guys what you want. So I know that most of you want to see videos about clones, but I will also keep reviewing the fragrances that I put my hands on, designer, niche, no matter what. I'm still gonna go and make lists about all sorts of fragrances. So it's not going to be just clones. But what I'm trying to say here is that I'm probably going to start to make videos about clones again. I still don't like that there are some brands that are making very expensive clones and sometimes they are more expensive than the original. So when I'm going to review those, if I'm going to ever review those, I'm going to hardly mention that they are more expensive than the actual 
fragrance, the original fragrance, or sometimes close to the price of the original, so it's not going to be worth it. And there's something even worse than those, like a new trend now, which I'm going to make a video separately just for this to give you a big heads up. There are these brands that consider themselves niche brands that put the smell from a regular, cheap Middle Eastern fragrance into a very fancy bottle and then put a very high price tag and sell them like niche fragrances. And people buy that, people go for them, especially people that are coming only from designer smells, designer fragrances. They smell those fragrances and they say, oh, this is different, this is new. But for someone who's been into Middle Eastern perfumery for a while, they will know they have smelled that before. Maybe it's a bit different, maybe a bit of a higher quality, but is it worth 10 times the price? So yes, guys, I'm going to get back to reviewing clones as well. And I have a bit of catching up to do because I haven't bought any clone in a while now. Ever since Midnight Oud by Ardal Zafran came out. I know that's an Amouage Interlude clone. I haven't tried it to this day, so I'm that far away. So at least for the beginning, I have some new clones, at least new for me, before I start, you know, getting the same smell from different bottles. But maybe you guys will want to help me here. Maybe you will recommend me some good clones, which I will look into. And even further, if you want to help me even more, maybe send me some samples, because with these Middle Eastern fragrances, there aren't many shops where you can actually go into and test them before buying them. And most of the time I will have to just blind buy and see how they smell. So if you have some really good clones or just simply really good cheap fragrances and you want to send me some samples, give me an email. And that was it guys. Have a lovely weekend and until the next video, keep smelling great.